what's up folks it's Wix this is pretty much for everybody uh, either in Sacramento area or even Pacific Northwest but I would assume that you can go and do this for any state um, but you come over to uh, California.gov or your state's initials.gov okay there now so you come over here you go to the disclaimer there's nothing in there to worry about just accept and continue and you want to find your county go up here pick your county and we'll put it in red for you now you want to go to the FEMA effective map and yes, it is part of the 100-year flood plan, I think, but uh, at the same time, it's not. This is for the 100-year plan and under is for any, it could happen any fucking time. I don't know if you know that. 100-year uh, plan is not a 100-year plan. So when you hit the FEMA map, all this shit goes underwater. This is the where it shows you all the stuff in blue. That's underwater. I'll take you to my neighborhood. I'm underwater. So when I seen this map, I had I had to uh, start making an escape plan. <laughs> so here's what I've come to. Now this is what I would do. Don't take it from me. I'm not a fucking expert on this. If anybody has any good ideas, I know there's a few of my buddies out there that that have a lot better, you know, they're a lot more caught up on this stuff than I am. But one thing I would not do, if they call emergency or if Sacramento's flooding, you need to get the fuck out of here in a big hurry. One thing I would not do is go up I-5. I mean, because look at this shit. It's, you got the forest over here. You got the forest in the mountains over here. You're stuck in the middle on I-5. I don't know if you've ever been stuck up here on I-5, but it ain't too pleasant. I mean, you get weird fucking funny feelings. There's, I mean, just weird shit happening. I can't tell you the strange feeling that I get every time I go up towards Reading. It's the eeriest feeling. But this is a great point for a, a fucking ambush site for anybody the military fema fucking isis <laughs> so i wouldn't want to be caught in there but and plus you know it's only one road up through there that's like the only road up there see there's really nothing else going up there uh here's what i had planned i already showed you where i if i didn't show you where i planned on going if uh, anything real fucking serious were to break out, I'm talking shit hit the fan. I I was thinking come like this somewhere in this area, but especially definitely along the border. Um, and Joel Skousen, if you don't know who he is, survival expert and all, I mean, the list is too long. According to him, this is about the safest place in the fucking world to be when shit hits the fan. That's what he says. Uh, if you want to go and look at strategic relocation on YouTube, I would highly suggest watching that. And actually, I think I'm going to leave that in the description for everybody to watch. And I think you want to do that. So, that's that. And I'll tell you this now, folks, and I know this for a fact. Uh, if you, if a nuclear weapon goes off anywhere west of the Rockies, you want to get on the other side of the fucking Rockies. You better get your ass on the east side of the Rockies. That's all I can say.
As a matter of fact, yeah, if anything happens west of the Rockies, get your ass to the other side of the mountains. Or, you know, if you live uh, in the Sacramento area, for instance, uh, let's say you went up to, uh, let's say you're up in El Dorado Hills area. So you're up in the forest, you know. Well, you know, the mountains up here. What you want to do, you want to get on the other side. You don't want to be over. You don't want to be in Tahoe. No, no, no. Get the fuck out of. Go to Carson City or some shit. See the mountains. All right. I'm not gonna look for the map. There's all sorts of different maps they got. It's crazy. But that's this is where I would go. I'd go right out this way through 80. There's all sorts of other roads that come off of 80. All sorts of other roads. And, you know, once you get out by Reno, that pretty much wide open space and you fucking go wherever you want to go, you know. And another place I definitely would not go is anywhere south. All these fucking, uh, I don't know, I would, yeah, I would say Fresno. I'd say Fresno, Las Vegas, and anything south of that. Absolutely no way in hell I'm going there. You guys make up your own decision, but my research has told me that that would be a very bad idea. Now, so I think everybody should know this and you should pass it along to your family and friends so they can, uh, you know, show them how to do the map and all that stuff. Take precautions because I am convinced that, I don't know if you folks know this, but uh, Sacramento has recently stopped their building projects. I mean, you don't know, if you're not from here, you don't know how much fucking construction they got going on. It's absolutely ridiculous. 24 hours, and so they stopped building because the ground wasn't stable enough to be building shit and uh something was wrong with the levees uh in the tomas uh for everyone who doesn't know we have different neighborhoods in sacramento because it's so fucking big i live in the tomas area yes i do live in sacramento but i live in the tomas no the tomas is not a city you moron it's a fucking neighborhood in Sacramento. Anyways. Yes, the lady came out all of a sudden, and she says, the levees are fixed. They're good to go. We could start building again. That was a year or two ago. I haven't seen them doing any building. They're supposed to be putting a brand new uh, headquarters for Bass Pro Shop out here. And uh, I'm under the impression that maybe the levees weren't reinforced. Maybe they weren't fixed. I mean, I'm fucking surrounded by levees. I live in the worst area, North Sacramento. This whole area, from the fucking airport to North Natomas, my house. Airport to a uh, sleep train. Yeah. I'd, mm. It's all fucking... I'm done. And uh, I know that there's been people at the city council calling them.